Welcome to the second part of this tutorial on how to solve quadratic inequalities. So, the example I've given here now is 6 minus x squared is greater than x. And this is just slightly different. Uh, I've picked this purely because it's uh, in a different order than normal. So to put it in the conventional quadratic form, we need to get rid of this x and take, so we will take x from both sides. So taking x from both sides would therefore give me 6 minus x squared take away x is greater than, and x take away x is 0. Rearranging the terms to put it in a more conventional style, we we'll start with minus x squared, then the minus x, then the plus 6, and that is greater than 0. We could factorise the left-hand side from here, but noticing it's got a minus x squared, it does make it a little bit more trickier. So uh, let's uh, get rid of the minus by timesing through both sides by negative 1. So if I multiply minus x squared by negative 1, I get x squared. Minus x by minus 1, that becomes plus x. And plus 6 becomes minus 6. And if we multiply 0 by 0, then that's clearly 0. OK, so you might be wondering why I haven't written this inequality greater than in here. Well, we've got to be very careful at this stage because if we multiply the left-hand side by negative 1 and the right-hand side by negative 1, multiplying by a negative number or even, in fact, dividing by a negative number, we must remember to turn the inequality round. I'm purposely writing this in red so that just to draw your attention to that. OK, so always remember that then. OK, back on to the problem. We've got something a lot easier now to factorise. So therefore, factorising it in the usual way, a couple of brackets, let's put it less than zero, a couple of x's at the front of each bracket, two numbers multiply together to give minus six, add together to give one, that's got to be plus 3 and minus 2, so we'll put plus 3 there, minus 2 in there. OK. Now what I outlined in my previous example uh, was that uh, at this stage, don't fall into the trap of writing x plus 3 is less than 0 or x minus 2 is less than 0. It's always going to be wrong. No, we've got to work out the critical values. So um, my advice is always to write down something like for the critical values. OK, so we'll write for the critical values. We're going to put each of those factors equal to 0. So we would have x plus 3 would equal 0, or x minus 2 would equal 0. Solving this in the usual way, we would therefore have x equals negative 3, or x equals positive 2. So these are my critical values. And now what I'm going to do is sketch the graph, the graph of y equals all of x plus 3 times x minus 2. So I'll just put that up here. y equals x plus 3 times x minus 2. We're going to draw the graph. So we'll set up some axes. We'll draw our y-axis in. So there we go, y-axis. Don't forget to label the axes, little arrow on the each end here. So uh, there's the x-axis, arrow, x. Okay. Mark on the critical values, minus 3 and positive 2. So minus 3, we'll say is there, and positive 2 there. Again, it doesn't have to be to scale. It's just a sketch, just to, so that we can practice uh, or see visually uh, the answer to our solution. OK, so we're going to uh, draw this in. Let's draw it in in red. So uh, it's a positive x squared graph, x times x plus x squared. So it'll be U-shape. So if we try and draw this in, just a sketch, it's going to come down through here, round, and then up like so. OK. Now, we are looking for where 
this expression on the right is less than zero. So in other words, where y is less than zero. And where is y less than zero? Well, y is less than zero on the graph where we're just below the x-axis here on this stretch here. This is where y is less than zero. So it's y is less than zero for values of x between negative three and two on this part of the line, this line segment here. I'll highlight it in uh, green for you. So it's there between minus three and two, from there to there. Okay, so all we need to do is just say from the graph, from the graph, okay, we see that x has to be between, and a between statement is written like this. x is between negative 3 and 2. So negative 3 on the left and 2 on the right there. x is between minus 3 and 2. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial on how to solve quadratic inequalities. And uh, hopefully you should be able to use these two examples to go on to solve further ones. So good luck.